So I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself and my background, where I grew up, um, where I was born. I was born in Baghdad. I'm not gonna tell you the year. <laughs> uh, I was born in bred, uh, born and bred in uh, in Baghdad, and I lived there for um, till high school, and then I moved to Jordan, completed my uh, um, my bachelor's bachelor study uh, in architecture. And then uh, uh, lived uh, in Jordan, Amman, in, for 10 years. And then I moved to uh, London to study animation. My master, I completed my master degree. And then uh, uh, I moved to Ireland to work for an uh, animation company, uh, working on a feature film um, called The Breadwinner. It was on cinema a few months ago and uh, nominated for Oscar. It's, it was uh, really... Uh, a pleasant experience for me and then after that I moved to LA so this is my journey and my parents uh, I grew up uh, in, a, in a family where everyone is uh, is uh, crafted and skilled and uh, full of architects so my my father is an architect and my sister also in a, a, a sister and my brother they are architects uh, my mom she dedicated herself to uh, raise us and um, dev uh, improve my um, my skills and uh, so I'm really grateful for her to nurture my uh, my talent and uh, they were very supportive until now they are supporting me and every uh, project uh, I get every drawing I, I do I get their approval and uh, and uh, their criticism and uh, and they help me to push me forward and my drawings became uh, uh, app apparent is a uh, since uh, I, I I can remember, it's uh, the way I take the pen, the way I draw, and the choosing the the way I choose the colors, color choice, uh, my composition. It was it was a bit advanced when I was uh, when I was a child, and um, thanks to my uh, parents, they recognized this and uh, and um, nurture it by uh, giving me always feedback and uh, sh uh, met, let me meet uh, uh, talented people and artists and uh, always uh, g give me the support in that time so uh, it, it was really really in, in young age I, I I've been discovered and uh, uh, I've been called the artist since I was a baby, the, the artist. So this uh, label and this title put a responsibility in me to, uh, to protect this talent, to protect the skills and wanted to reach somewhere. And uh, it's like a message, uh, message that I want to deliver it by creating more art and share it with the world by by creating stories for children or paintings um from um uh from uh, inspiring uh s different various subject around me i i always got inspired by the surroundings especially architecture buildings and cities and uh and so by stories, by paintings, or by uh, animation, and creating, and turning these stories into moving images. Also playing with music uh, because animation, the fun part of it is the music that helps them to enhance the, the the concept or the idea. I always wanted to be a really well recognized artist since I was a child at school, and I always wanted to be someone who can make art and be able to spread it to the world always had the feeling since i was a little child i i have the ability to draw and use colors and imagination differently from my peers this made me feel i have the message for me yeah that's what i said and um so uh i remember when i was uh, at school primary school all the teachers my teachers were bringing me uh their uh, their notebooks and tell me Dabi, Dabi, Zainab, uh, just decorate this, uh, draw anything uh, around our names, uh, some uh, some uh, uh, elements or some uh, fruit leaves or uh, grapes or anything around, decorate it, custom, customize uh, my, uh, our, our uh, notebook 
the, the notebook they put our marks in it so these are the teachers and they always uh, call me whenever they needed uh, they needed um, big drawings uh, for the school or uh, art activities or fun art festivals I always participate so I, I always been been the artist of my class and of my school and uh, in also high school and secondary schools high school and then in college and uh, in college I studied architecture so I, I wasn't uh, drawing that much because I was uh, studying uh, uh, architecture um, drawing more buildings perspectives and this gave me the concrete and the base uh, it's, um, the concrete and the knowledge behind drawings to understand uh, uh, the principles of drawings and uh, it's very fundamental it was uh, very helpful for me uh, to put me in the in, uh, upper uh, level and uh, after I uh, studied after I finished architecture there was sounds deep inside me keeps uh, keeps coming and uh, talking to me do art do something uh, uh, draw more do something more enjoy more enjoyable it's while I was working in architecture I found it very difficult because I work on something and I have to please the client all the time and while I I, I dislike it because I, I enjoy working some produce something no one can contribute in in uh, or direct or uh, or change my the things i work on what has also uh, helped in um, improve my uh, drawing skill is um, the bad circumstances circumstances that happened in in Iraq when I was a child, uh, because uh, there was war and uh, there wasn't much um, of uh, fun or entertainment uh, activities to do. So most of the time you don't have electricity uh, in the house, only the candlelight and uh, playing cards or playing um, games with um, with the family or friends when we gather around the candle. The light so I was preferring uh, sitting with my pencils and and uh, and color kits and drawing kit and create uh, lots of paintings and I made uh, my um, yeah I remember I made some exhibition an exhibition and invited all my friends and I uh, and uh, I was around 10 years no sorry I was uh, six years old six or eight I was uh, eight years old, and uh, and uh, I made uh, I made for every person, every friend I know, I I made a specific painting uh, with a spe specific subject related to that person. That's why I make sure to for that person to buy it, so I can get some money and uh, uh, that was my first uh, investment and um, so I, I made my first exhibition under the war uh, with, and uh, it was really really fun that pushed me and made me uh, think bigger and dream and uh, dream of the day I can be a famous artist and I do lots of paintings and do exhibition around the world and uh, so I, I I hope this will happen one day. <laughs> do an exhibition um, somewhere uh, internationally uh, around the world.